The identifier is the name that you will use within your project, and it is also the name of the graph. So if I change this to something else, you can see the name uh, changes within the Explorer window. And if I change it in the Explorer window, and this is a bit buggy, but if I click away and go back into the graph, you can see it has changed back to whatever I wrote in the Explorer window. The output computation is a bit complicated, so I'll uh, save that for show in library, as sometimes they are the same thing, but sometimes not. The description is the uh, description that appears when you hover over a node. Some nodes has it and some nodes do not. But uh, if I hover over this, you can see a text appears right here. And that is basically what I wrote in the uh, description before I publish it, publish it as a SPSAR. So whatever, whatever you're writing here appears in the nodes in Designer. I don't think it has any function in Painter. I haven't found it at least. Designer filters out its nodes based on some filters. Unlike uh, Painter, which uh, fetches its uh, icons and brushes based on some folder hierarchy, Designer places all the f uh, nodes and files uh, within a single structure. But it filters this out into groups based on some filters. Um, so the generator is a way of filtering out your nodes into uh, these groups right here. So you can make a new filter. And these are basically and, uh, um, and conditions. So if I, so if I um, uh, choose graph and uh, ask for, this is basically all graph which contains uh, the word or something in a category uh, position. So if I write generator right here, it will fetch all the SPSR files and SPS files, which contains the word generator in uh, uh, the category uh, place. And since this is an and condition uh, line, I can add some more. And let's say all um, the files which has a tag that contains the word pattern now it filters all all uh, filters out all of these. So if I write something here uh, which contains the word pattern, this filter will fetch uh, those nodes. The label is how a designer and painter uh, fetches or generates the name of the node or the tool. So whatever, whatever you write here will be the name that appears here or here or over there. If you write nothing in the label, it will use the identifier name instead. The author, that is where you can write your uh, name, for instance. If I right click uh, a node, you will see there's the author line here. So whatever you write in your author line will appear under the author uh, position right here. So you can write your name or a company name. So uh, if you publish the graph to share or something or you sell it, the uh, user will know how to contact you. And same same thing for the author URL. That is your website or it can be an email or something like that. The user data is a place to leave a note for yourself. The text that is typed in here will appear nowhere else, just in this project file. So if you want to leave a note for yourself to notify yourself of something with the project or something else, you can write it over here. The output computation and show library does different things based on what file you're using and where you're using that file. So let's cover SPS and designer first. As an SPS file, or if you import an SPS file into the designer library, uh, the output computation will decide whether or not the node will generate a graphical representable icon or not, like this one. If output computation is set to no, designer will make a icon like this, a big S. However, you can make a you can utilize a custom icon if you want to by clicking this uh, icon right here and finding a desired icon, and it will use that icon instead. In the case of SPS, the show in library will decide 
uh, whether or not designer will make a node at all within designer. So if I have a secondary graph and uh, it has a simple function of generating a pattern for me and uh, I can, for instance, instance this, instance this into the first graph, I would probably not want designer to generate a graph for this uh, or generate a node for this graph as well since it's purely functional for the first uh, graph. So in that case, I can set the show library to no, and uh, and designer will not generate a graph or a node uh, out of that file within the library. SPS files are only functional or compatible uh, with uh, designer, so you cannot use an SPS file within uh, Painter or an external host program like Unreal Engine or Unity. SPS files are only um, can only be used within Designer as a library a node or as a project file. So let's talk about SPS AR file uh, files. Uh, the um, in that case, uh, the uh, in the case of SPS AR files within Designer, output computation and show in library does the same thing. If the SPS of if the output computation is set to no, the uh, uh, designer will not generate a node based on it. Uh, so, and also if uh, the output computation is set to yes and the show library is set to no, designer will, will uh, not generate a node either. So in the case of an SPS R file within um, designer. Either of these will decide whether or not the uh, designer makes a node or not. However, in an external uh, host program like uh, Unreal Engine or, uh, or <laughs> Unity, um, the shown library has no function at all. That is, pa that is basically just within uh, designer. Output computation will now decide whether or not the uh, program will ask if you want to make a material of it or not. So if I have a graph for uh, the graph 2, where output computation is set to yes, but a shown library is set to no. Um, for instance, Unreal Engine will ask if, if I want to generate an instance of the material or not. If I set it to no, if I set it to no, Unreal Engine will not generate a material based on it. <laughs> 